Anyway, not really wicked. The internet is currently just exasperated with stupid rant for Pete regards to state chat. Yeah, I seen that paper. I seen it. Uh, McDonough for no real no reason was out there. Uh, for some reason around the cruise working to try to you know I don't excavate the backyard and all. I why? Fuck I know. You tell me. Make that make sense. I don't know. But I did see the picture. That was yesterday, I think. Um Yeah, what what cake? You talking about the cake at the sheriff's office, Florida? It's pretty disgusting when you think about it. I thought so. I can't recall any vigil I've ever been to that had cakes and you know. Then the other team I wear they all had uh goodie bags and fucking uh, you know, gift certificates and clapping and cheering and games and I gotta tell you some of the grossest shit I've ever seen around Vigil. Yeah, door prizes. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't need it. Like Ocean Dud, it was a skip round. I stayed off on it. Yeah, I generally do. Most of the the other day, I didn't want. And uh, I tried to stay quiet the other day. And tried to see how many would. And tried to see how many would. Recall that it was the 15th without anybody saying anything. And not very many did. You know. Because at that time, they were pretty firmly, you know, into the anti tragedy pimp pretend bullshit over here. And uh, also, you know, obviously, and for very real reasons. Um, um, everybody was a star because of what had been done to Brandy and uh, they don't really believe they're going to solve anything Griff they do not believe they're going to solve it I can assure you that they know better their only uh, thing here is to fuck shit up on purpose you know to do whatever they have to do to make money uh, to torment terrorize them get the rocks off on abusing uh with a buffer and getting paid for it and um and um you know that's really it i mean they have no intention of ever um even remotely attempting to solve it yeah florida the cake was at the sheriff's office Original, and it was still disgusting. So, and yeah, Griff, it looks like a few of them are going through like the 45th divorce for each. Um, you got half these tragedy pimps being kicked out by spouses, half of them going through like 14th divorce before they're 30 or 32, 33, some on their 19. I don't know, man. I just, I'm like, whatever. Others running into whole ass different countries, <laughs> leaving the kids behind, like, holy shit be cheaters and gross individuals and like holy hell man you know you know and griff um that's the thing they uh something i told monster for years man it takes one percent of the energy one percent you spend every day uh, spending 100% of your energy on being awful, a liar, terrible, abusive, listener, and whining about the state of your life. But literally, you put 1% effort in and make everything fucking wonderful and, you know, not be expending the other 99 and have a great life, right? Can't manage that, man. Monsters cannot do that. Like, um, and, and the same applies here. These motherfuckers, look at the amount of effort they put into this bullshit soap opera game day after day, day after day, year after year after year. Uh, you know, because some do come from, you know, drama and all these other communities and moved into this particular arena. But uh, literally every, every day, all day spent with headphones in, looking at, viewing, messaging, different discords, platforms, this and that, any other calls, working shit behind the scenes. I mean, it's all they do. And man, if they just sit down now and put in real investigative, true work, man, they could maybe do good for something. But that is not what they do. 
you know. And they'll never do that. Florida, it was still disgusting. It was fucking disgusting. All right. That's just how I feel about it. And Ellie did not come to take of that either. Um, and I think most of us in here felt the same damn way that knew someone. It, it wasn't cute. It might have played well on fucking camera. It wasn't a goddamn party. Have y'all ever been to another fucking vigil where any of that shit went on? And to have a birthday? Right one she missed, but without her, that's, it, it, you know. And for others who have done no good by her at all to be out there eating it, it's too bad they didn't all choke on it. I have Florida Mean Laws Runner. She knows some people I know. I believe that she also helped. Weren't you the one that helped Ernie search uh, around the racetrack, Florida? And then you're also on here a while back that asked me about property and all sort of bullshit on Ben Hill. I just, you know, yeah. There were fucking door prizes, Florida. I do have it right. There's video footage of it. Would you like to go back and watch how all the creators were playing games and getting door prizes and how uh, Gavel and all them went to local places here and asked them to donate free dinners and skate this and whatever that and activities for the fucking creators, none of which have helped somewhere in the least? And the shirts were initially going to be for sale at both places. Then they changed that when people were raising hell. And don't forget the balloons that the fighting sisters brought that they took money to put their name, you know, names of chat members on so they could release them. So they could release them in places they weren't supposed to be fucking releasing them and they didn't get to. Hmm? And don't forget chasing in their bells, trespassing and all kinds of shit. And everybody forgetting that all their merch shit was running, didn't know how to touch a button and turn it off. And I ain't listening to it. I, I, I ain't hearing it. Florida. I ain't. There's there's literally video footage of all of this. I suggest you go back and watch it before you tell somebody else to get something right. Yeah, wicked ways. I mean, are you, are you saying the rest of us are suffering some sort of uh, mass delusion that we're all imagining the same exact things, like this is fucking Shazam and the Mandala effect? Yeah, I don't think so. But were you not the one that was helping Ernie search around the fucking racetrack? Was that not you? I feel like that was you. And I mean, I know we've been through this before, uh, but it's just like the weirdness around, you know, the property questions and all this other stuff that you did, um, and then making contact with other people around locally that know me and shit. I just, you know, yeah, you're here to fucking super simp for fucking tragedy pimps. I'm not having it. And that tells me, and it's told me the whole time, just like it has my friends who you want to try to connect with and all these others, what the fuck you're up to, Florida, just like your bullshit questions about the property and all that other crap. Uh, so you can take it back to simping for tragedy pimps land, but it ain't going to be over here. Again, or in my inbox again. Stay out of that motherfucker, too. Oh. That's the shit you deal with. It's like, man, uh, that's my opinion of it. Uh, you know, it's just like, yeah, I've never seen any such fucking thing. Y'all name one. Like, how many vigils a day do you all see across TV, in your own hometowns, at high schools, where, you know, tragedies have occurred, at mass shootings? You ever seen anybody bring goddamn cake, door prizes, hand out shit? Like, not even just a random people uh, coming out to pay respects or anything like that, but, like, the worst fucker-uppers around shit? Y'all ever been like, yeah.
And I mean, that's another thing, you know. Him not hiding all his shit. But the last pieces, did you notice the last pieces he did were really all centered about me too before he went quiet? Other than another look at this hand while this one's doing that shit that he releases from AB, who's also asshole deep in the scamatron. Make that make sense. And the only wow factor there, Carl, is that um, it's coming from AB, right? You know? And you know, damn good well, if he really wanted to do something hard to him, uh, that right there is at the very bottom of the barrel. He could come out with how they manipulate rooms, how they work to get operate to get, you know, any of that. But that's not what he's doing, Carl. It's just horseshit. It's to take eyes and ears off of and to build up suspense, and then so everybody gets wondering where the fuck they're at, that way they make splash, and whatever the hell they're up to is really seen when they just have to come back on. You know, if anybody was truly afraid or having criminal shit done over that, um, it'd be more than just those few hiding shit. So there's something wrong here, Carl. Ask yourself what the fuck it is. Start digging. What the hell they want you to look away from that's actually occurring? And why are they trying to use you right now? Well, that's TM's go-to, though. Enhanced. She's always, like, she keeps herself just enough in sconce, and she has little, you know, ball guys, right? And she always comes out squeaky clean, and people buy it, even though there's evidence that she's involved in all these things. It's like fucking candles with her flexed, and her, you know, she did put up stuff, and she said she didn't monetize, but it was actually she had some strikes, and also her stuff, and there was money being made, and you can see her taking, being made, and you can see her taking payments. For acquiring and preying upon people in Cash's case, in summer, taking payments for, quote, acquiring me, even though that was, you know, that was through Penny. Um, I mean, they're acquiring and using and terrorizing and tormenting people for money, Carl. And uh, then that fucking fundraiser man is still. I told him, Carl, and I know you've seen the video. I told him before that thing ever fully crashed down that I would hunt him to the ends of the earth. And I mean, it. I'm not even kidding. And I've still yet to receive proof that, uh, of the real amounts, because I know I was given for the merch, not yet, and that the other half, never seen receipts, showing that it went to Civis like it's supposed to for summer. Um, still have yet to see anything about the hurricane email shit, what all it was siphoning up. I do know exactly how many times it run, because I have the videos of all that shit, and screenshots and timestamps every time it was thrown up, including that last missing live. Where they literally, like, it was like 40 some times in just a couple minutes while McDonald's was on screen and he and I were talking in that last mansion one. They had that shit rolling everywhere without our consent. And I do know some of what went to the P.O. box without us knowing or being aware that they were telling people in the background of sin, but what the fuck happened to that, I do not know. Um, and I would love answers from. Yeah, I know, Carl, but um, the thing is, there's no accounting for Q. And I've never seen a receipt that part of the merch, like the domestic violence merch, but the half that should have went there, ever went there for summer, in my name, from Q. Because that was the deal. Half was supposed to go into a locked account for the kids, another half was supposed to go to summer. Never got proof of receipts that uh, that occurred. And that's where the attorney general and all them are like, oh, uh, you could actually file, file on these motherfuckers. And um, then you see me there weeks ago getting that manifesto threat letter, right? And so far, they're holding to the script. They're trying to fuck with my kid. Obviously, family shit, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you've not seen the cute little video. They come over and chat with an account. Made sure I would hit the hamburger button and go look at the account. And somebody, it's up here in my video section, um, uh, decided to write like an eight-page manifesto letter after I gave them a certain time to get me the receipts by here a while back. Uh, they were pissed, and I got a manifesto letter uh, with my name being the only one with the last name left off. You can clearly tell it's meant for me, not for Scott, or any arrest listed on it. For me, not for Scott, or any arrest listed on it. And uh, threatening to destroy my family, uh, make sure that my kid is basically taken, whatever, and I owe child support. And it goes back between plural and singular. Uh, then, uh, after that, they break and enter again, and we're caught here doing so. Um, all these other things, Carl, have been going on. And they've been at it, and I know that Monster has been aware of the break and entering. And never reported them, never stopped them. Um, some of the things stolen from here, from here were for him. Uh, 
you know. But other things, you know, trophies. They really took my ashtray at one point as a trophy, I suppose, or something, or just to fuck with me. I mentioned it online a couple times, but I never said I knew that's what happened to it. I'm just hoping it would bring about some sort of cutesy comment, right? And it got the reaction intended. So did other things I've mentioned here and there if we're gone. But family members actually did catch real people coming out of here with one of the last uh, bigger break-ins while we were in court. Yeah. Bigger break-ins while we were in court. Yeah, that one, Carl. That one that tries actively, uh, the letter's written already, but then at the end they try to change their handwriting as they're finishing the rest off. You know that one, playing the god-awful music. Yeah, Carl, uh, they've been at this breaking and entering and stealing shit uh, for a while since Scott's come over here and mentioned the t-shirt thing. Uh, right before he set in the attack cycle on us with Shay and CZ. Yeah. And then I kept noticing things and noticing things, and certain cameras would be triggered and certain things would be done, and then... The bigger items started missing that applied to court and all sorts of things. And then my family and my eldest and them caught them the last time they were here. Well, Will and I had went to court and then we were, um, Will and I had went to court and then we were um, out kind of chilling and celebrating at the movies and shit. Yeah. Yeah, they've been coming and going for a while. And then you hear them out themselves and so does Monster because they mentioned the items and so does Monster that have been um, stolen on the lives with Monster. And, um, and Carl, uh, they have everything they have, fucking shit and devices going live all the time with baby hacking and crap. And we've had people at first come out here and you'd see people at first come out here and you'd see them stop. And you know where the propane is put in the front of these big ass campers like this, right, for the refills? Uh, they were coming in, like they would stop right in front of it and touch it and then jet back into the fucking car as quick as they could. We've also had them pop the doors and stuff like the outer doors where you store luggage and shit and break the... Uh, 